one question here. There are a few questions around politics and church interactions. I just say one thing quite generally, and that, again, those of you who know a little bit of the work I do will, will know that a lot of it is based on human rights, religious freedom, because I believe that that's part of our Christian message. I don't think, I don't believe, I do not endeavor to do politics. I don't see myself as a politician. What I do do is advocacy. And I think there's a big difference between politics and advocacy. Our Lord himself is, according to the scriptures, our chief advocate, who came to advocate for the whole world and to give sight to the blind, to give hope, to give freedom. And when we're speaking of people's rights as God-given, then we have a responsibility. And, and by the way, today is Human Rights Day. And so some of you may have seen that I put out a statement this morning on that. Because I do believe it's important for us to speak as Christians. And not just about Christians, but about anyone who's persecuted. Um, I can't be tribal enough to just say I will speak when it matters to me alone. Again, if, if some of you were on Twitter, you would have seen I got a response from someone. It was very, very polite. There was no one attacking me. But he said, uh, Your Grace, I would have wanted you to speak about Copts. And, and my answer was very simply, speaking about Copts is expected. Whereas when we speak about the rights of all, including Copts, then it makes others stand in our corner as well and speak for us as we speak for them. So injustice should not be dealt with at a tribal level. I shouldn't say that, you know what, actually, I don't want injustice for my people, but you guys, it's you know, fine, you deal with it. If, if I see injustice in the world, then I need to work against it. And, you know, many people will, com will confuse that with politics. Politics, or the politics we're speaking about, is party politics, where you're choosing one person or another person or doing something. Whereas religion, and I, I believe in this very, very firmly, religion, faith, Christianity, should be a moral compass within the political system. It shouldn't, religion should be manip, shouldn't be manip, manipulated. You know, I, I was cringing over the US electional, uh, uh, the, the election run-up, where you'd have delegates going to churches just to get church support, and churches, churches should be a moral compass. They should be party neutral. Because the minute you commit to a party, then you become part of the actual process. Whereas for us, we commit to a principle. I'm talking about the church. You, as Christians, must exercise your vote and vote. You must be good citizens, responsible citizens, and you should have an opinion. Even if I have an opinion, I don't share it. I don't share it in my pastoral. You know, I couldn't share it in a private conversation, but not in my pastoral role, because I don't think that's my place. My place is to make sure whoever the candidate is, whenever he or she takes office, that this person knows our standpoint on freedom, on equality, on religious freedom, on persecution, so we can speak into that agenda without being compromised by having made a choice before.